Hello, my name is Jan Schache. I'm standing here in front of our industrial CT scanner, the Vitomax C450. This year we introduce two new features for the system for doing CT in production. We are using a 450 kV X-ray tube in this system combined with a GE DXR250 detector which has an input screen of 40 by 40 centimeter. This year we have a new um, feature in order to increase the throughput for production. A nice example is here using turbine blades of Inconel material and having a box inside of the system which allows us to feed the system with 25 blades. The gripper unit is picking each blade after each other to make the CT scan in front of the flat panel detector. The module which we are showing here is called a quick pick and allows us to make CT scans of 25 blades within two hours. All that in combination with our new product, ScatterCorrect. So, as you might know from doing CTs on high dense materials or materials of large wall thicknesses, we suffer from scatter radiation. This example uh, shall give you an idea what scatter radiation is causing. We see here in, in the air uh, gray values which simply do not exist. It is simply the fact from scatter radiation. A typical result from flat panel based CT scans. In the past you were forced to take a line detector instead of a flat panel detector in order to get a, this sharp result. However, using a line detector takes much more time compared to a flat panel detector. Therefore GE is in, the, in 2015 introducing ScatterCorrect, a hardware a module which we are using together with a, a certain software a module in order to reduce the scatter radiation for a cone beam CT. So we are using the flat panel detector, having the advantages of a fast CT scan and have the result of such a highly accurate, almost scatter-free uh, CT scan. So now I have actually also the chance to have really sharp edges which allow me to also solve metrology applications measuring the wall thicknesses, comparing CAD 3D models with uh, the CT uh, acquired information. Let me guide you here to the software which we are using. GE Phoenix is developing um, reconstruction software where we have implemented the ScatterCorrect uh, module. For the result, the outcome, we are using the visualization of volume graphics. Here at the visualization of the CT scan, um, I would like to make a li little bit more obvious what the result of scatter radiation is. We see here the result of a standard cone beam CT using a 40 by 40 centimeter uh, detector um, without scatter correct, so a conventional CT scan. I'm using here the surface, automatic surface detection and you see the, the surface of the part is not really uh, uh, detected um, precisely. We see that the surface is in the air resulting of the, or as a result of the scatter radiation. So when I'm doing the same scan with the same X-ray source with the same detector, however now using GE scatter correct, I get to this result and when I'm applying the automatic surface detection, you see how well defined the surface is now detected. That will allow me now to measure highly precise wall thicknesses, especially here at higher dense parts or, or materials of larger material thicknesses.